So here's an unfortunate situation that's known to most of us. Uh, let's say we have a car, uh, and we're driving down the road. It's a poorly drawn car. I'm drawing too fast here. And we're going at some velocity. It's a constant velocity. Okay? And then let's imagine that inside our car we have our seat. And sitting on our seat we have something. And in this case we'll say a glass of water. Uh, now I know you're all too intelligent to put a glass of water in your seat, but you know, imagine you know we have something sitting on our seat um, as we're driving our car, and so you know there'll be some bumps from the road. Um, but let's say let's say we're on a pretty good highway. Um, I don't know where this is. I, I haven't really driven in a state that has a good enough highway for it to be considered basically flat. But imagine that like we have a very flat highway, so we're driving at a constant velocity. Um, and so the cup is just going to be sitting there. It's not really going to be doing anything, right? But then imagine that we start to take a curve in our car, okay? So when we do this, you know, of course we have, you know, the radius of the turn that we're taking. We have our velocity. Uh, and then we also have an inward acceleration toward the center of the turn. Well, the reason that we're all smart enough to not put a cup on the seat of our car is because we know if we made a turn like this, as soon as we did, all of the water would just come splashing out, right? And what seems to happen is it seems like, you know, from everything that we've talked about in this class so far, well, if it's moving to the right, then it seems like there must be some force, F, pushing it to the right to knock it over. Because if our cup is just sitting here, uh, and all of a sudden it gets knocked over, there must be some force that's moving it. Okay? The thing is, this force, F, is fictitious. It doesn't really exist. Right? What's really happening is we have a cup that's sitting here in our car. As we turn, the cup still wants to go at our current, at the current velocity that we're moving at. So it's trying to move in this direction. Meanwhile, we've quickly turned uh, toward inwards, so um, the car is turning, the cup doesn't want to. It wants to keep going the direction it was going before. So this frame that we have, where we're sitting in our car, and the cup is still, and the seat's still, um, when we're moving in just one constant direction, it's an inertial frame. But when we're turning, to us, in the car, it feels like, you know, it doesn't feel like we're actually turning, right? Um, what what actually what it actually feels like is there's some other forces that are coming into play because to us we're not moving anywhere, right? Um, and so it just seems like the cup tips over, but it's not actually the cup that's being knocked over. It's the cup that's trying to go in the same direction. It's us that are moving. Um, and in a non-inertial frame, in this accelerating frame, um, we can get fictitious forces, and that's basically what the what the rest of this unit is going to be about.